Hey, how's it going folks? ET here with another tutorial. Today's tutorial is a little bit different. Today we're going to show you how to do recurring investing using the Robinhood application. And this is a free app that allows you to make free stock trades with either stocks or ETFs or anything like that. It also allows you to do partial investments so you can buy percentage points of a stock instead of a you know, one full stock for $300, you can buy like $10 or $20 or $30. So you get percentage, like, you know, half of a stock, a quarter of a stock, etc. So that makes it really, really good for doing what we're going to talk about, which is recurring investing. And what I'm going to do is show you how to do that and set it up in Robinhood. First thing you're going to do is after you've downloaded, registered, and put a little bit of money in the account, we're going to go ahead and open up Robinhood. Okay, face. Now you're going to tap in the bottom right corner the little icon with the, the person. Then you're gonna tap on the top left corner, those little three lines, or sometimes people call them hamburgers. We're gonna do that. You're gonna go to investing. Tap on that. You're gonna scroll down, and what we're looking for is that view recurring investments. So we're gonna go ahead and tap on that. And what I'll do is I'll actually show you what I have here. I have a daily Google buy, and that's actually set up to make a purchase every single day of five bucks. So, you know, if it's a full week, it's 25 bucks a week, and that'll be a hundred a month, give or take, you know, depending if there's any public holidays. So I'm going for the, you know, the, the Eric ET, the cheapskate approach to recurring investing here. And eventually I think once I'm a little bit more comfortable and put more money into this account, I'll actually up to like 10 bucks a day or something like that. So let me go ahead and go back to what you'd see. So what we're gonna do is down here is there's a button that says create recurring investment. We're gonna go ahead and do that. And the first thing it's gonna do is ask you to search for your ETF or your stock. So let's go ahead and do Apple, which is A-A-P-L. Okay, we're gonna tap on that. And then, it, you know, it's gonna show you what, what the, um, the current market and, and the day high and all that wonderful jazz, 52 week high. So what you're gonna do is add it to your basket. And from here, you're going to go ahead and tap continue. And this is where you decide <laughs> how much of a cheapskate you are like me or when you're going to have money in your account. So normally I would do it on payday every two weeks. But uh, since it's a relatively small amount, five bucks, I think I can get a hundred bucks in this account every month or a little bit more to cover this little trade. So what I'll do is I'll just, let's just say uh, for the, for this example here, I'll do every two weeks. So we'll tap on that. Then we're going to tap continue. And what do I want to put every two weeks? Uh, let's just say 50 bucks. Okay. And then we'll go ahead and do continue. And then at this point, this is where you're going to decide where you want the money to come from. For me, I don't necessarily want them digging out of my account. I'd rather my bank accounts. I'd rather them take it out of this brokerage account, which I'll funnel money into. So I'll go ahead and tap brokerage buying and power. And that's what you have in your Robin hood account. Okay. And you can also add more later if you, if you'd like to, you're going to tap continue. Then they're going to ask you, do you want to have a backup method? Just in case you, your, your account runs, runs a little dry. You can actually put a backup method and I'm not going to do that for this, but if I was really, really serious and I knew I wanted them to actually grab money from my other accounts, I would actually, you know, pick that and then select continue, but I'm skipping. I'll take care of putting money into Robinhood. I don't want them to necessarily do that, but there's nothing wrong with it. Now we're going to go ahead and review what we got here. Make sure everything is good to go. You know, our order total every two weeks, 50 bucks every two weeks. So, you know, about five bucks a day from the brokerage power account and then no backup method. And it's going to start tomorrow. So let's go ahead. and you can actually change that if you wanted to, you could have it start another next month or whatever. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's have it start May. May 1st, 2023. We'll do that. Hit done. Okay. Let's go ahead and hit review. So to give us one more chance to make sure we're good to go. And at that point, we can just go ahead and swipe up to submit. Okay. And if you don't want to do it, you can actually just close your app or hit edit and undo it. But uh, we're going to actually go through with this. So 50 bucks every two weeks from our account in Robinhood. And it's going to officially start May 1st, 2023. Let's go ahead and do this. Okay, here we go. But luckily, you can actually cancel this or modify it at any time. No big deal. 
Okay, here we go, swiping up. Order received. We can view or we can hit done. Let's go ahead and hit view, see what we got there. So there's my uh, recurring one. So let's go ahead and hit the X here. And now I have two recurring investments. Hypothetically, if I wanna go back and change this, I'll just tap on the Apple one and you can actually tap edit investment and basically zero it out if you want to or cancel it or modify it so it's you know five dollars a day 100 bucks a month or whatever you want to do and one of the benefits of this recurring is um you'll have the ability to get dollar cost averaging kind of going so you buy the same time regardless of the price if it's low you get more if it's high you get less and over the years it actually usually works out that you end up making out pretty well course you know investing this is not investment advice that's just one of the strategies like uh, Warren Buffett and all these financial gurus use is you want a dollar cost average so you're buying you're not trying to time the market and mutual funds the 401ks do the same thing they just buy keep buying keep putting that money in and then over time with with interest hopefully compounded interest you'll end up making up but again not investment advice okay well I think that's it for today's tutorial let me go ahead and close out this app and we'll talk to you next time. Peace and aloha.